behold, not one but two mystery boxes. This one I know what's in the box, but this one is crazy. Or maybe the person that put it in the envelope is crazy. But how crazy? We're about to find out on Tom Was Here. Hi everyone! Tom was here back at it with another unboxing video. It has been a little while. I've been waiting for a few of these boxes. Um, this one, I couldn't resist, was a Zobi Daily Special. So I know what's in the box. And we're going to open that up right now. But the second one, I've heard, is crazy. But for this Zobi Daily Special, I saw this one. And I, look, I love a good deal. And I've been looking, actually, for this poster for a while just so happened to pop up. It wasn't exactly the um, version of the poster I was looking for, but I couldn't beat the value because it was about half the price of the other um, posters that I was looking at. It's one of my favorite, um, I guess, could you, this technically be called a horror movie? I guess a horror movie. Um, but it's actually, um, interestingly enough, the origins of it are a failed X-Files script that they turned into a movie and you can kind of see if you're watching the movie and you kind of know that. You can see where Mulder and Scully would have fit in um, under this. But it probably would have had to been a two-parter to sort out all the beats associated with it. But I do love this film. Uh, it was definitely an original concept for its time. Now they've done multiple sequels of it. Now, they're popcorn movies. I, I would watch many more sequels of this film. Um, but I'm very partial to the original. And that is... Final Destination, signed by the star Devin Sawa. Um, you know, like I said, I don't know if I like the one with the, you know, half skulls, um, but I do like this film and would be happy to hang this on uh, perhaps even this backdrop or, you know, um, in my office. I'm, I'm probably going to be maybe be shuffling things around. You may notice certain things that are kind of shuffled about. Um, but JSA certified... Devon Sawa, Final Destination, 11 by 17. Really cool. I dig that one. And like I said, I couldn't pass up the price from Zobi. Um, and then, of course, I foolishly did not put a discount code, of which many people have uh, discount codes for it. I foolishly didn't put one, so I will remember to do that for the, uh, for the next time. But this one here is the Mystery Box Bunker exclusive. Um, for those not familiar with the Mystery Box Bunker, it is a group of um, Mystery Box collectors and um, also some vendors as well, but basically people share Mystery Boxes, and in this case, this is an exclusive one from 258 West Signatures. Um, uh, Marco is the guy that runs it. And um, he also does the Autograph of the Month Club, if you're familiar with that. Um, I have not jumped into the Autograph of the Month Club as of yet. But one thing I did like about this crazy envelope, of which I got the lowest variety of the three. I think there were like three tiers and I got the lowest one. I think it was $40, something like that. But the cool thing that none of the many other places do, but that Marco does, is I received kind of a questionnaire of what my interests are, what I like, you know, what I would be interested in based on certain franchises, check yes, no, maybe, on certain decades, yes, no, maybe. I thought that was a really cool approach to it. I don't know how much, I would assume some of that goes into what's actually in this envelope, but I picked some items that I like and I picked some items that the boy likes because he's growing his Batman collection um, and his sports collection and various other things in his room is slowly his walls are slowly getting filled up as well by taking some of the things that were in the mystery boxes that you've seen me open previously but Margot did mention not to share this yet until some of the other people got the boxes but look it's a video you don't have to watch the video i like that you're watching i appreciate that you're watching um but you know you can always wait to watch it until other people got their box, or maybe until you got your envelope. Um, but this one here, I'm going to open up. You've been warned um, to see what's actually inside here. Very curious to see what's in here, and to see how crazy he is. And there looks to be a few different things in here. 
Um, I don't know. I've not seen anyone open any of these as of yet. So I don't know the proper procedure as far as what one to open over other ones. Um, but I'm just going to pull one out here. Or maybe two out here. Okay. Bonus. Bonus. Okay. So we already got a bonus thing. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know what the bonus entails, but we're going to see what the bonus is. Okay. Okay. And it is... Wait, is there a... Just one? Oh, there's a couple in here. Okay. Well, we will... Oh, wait. Maybe there's a few in here. Okay. Um, the first one here is Vincent M. Ward. It says he's Oscar from The Walking Dead. Now, I watched The Walking Dead, so I'm sure I rem I'm sure I've seen I've seen all the episodes. I'm sure I've seen episodes that he's been in, but he does not look familiar to me. Um, I'm blanking on actually who he is, but that's pretty cool. Um, I do like The Walking Dead, so I am not mad about that. Um, then we have, oh wow, we have quite a few things in the bonus here. Okay. Now this is Lou Temple, Walking Dead. His name is Axel. Now I do remember this guy from other things. Why, why am I blanking on everybody that's been in The Walking Dead? I, uh, he actually has an inscription. It says, holy shit, you follow me? Axel. <laughs> Now, uh, I would assume this is a more recent person because he actually, you know, they AMC decided that they could get away with cursing and stuff like that. Or maybe they bleeped it out and stuff. But I remember him from other things. But I, of course, also cannot remember what I remember him from. Um, but Walking Dead, Walking Dead. Now, this one, as a fan of childhood, um, I do... Uh, no, and, and it's a shame that I don't know The Walking Dead people, even though I love The Walking Dead. Um, but I do know 80s wrestling. And everybody's got a price for the Million Dollar Man. <laughs> That's awesome. The Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. He actually was at my Steel City, but for some reason I didn't go to that one. I had saw some other things going on or something. So that's really cool. I like the Million Dollar Man. So right out of the gate, I mean, look, if you're factoring in, this is a $40 envelope. Um, factoring it, I usually factor in value based on like Comic-Con prices. So if you're going to a Comic-Con and you're meeting someone and let's say you're meeting Ted DiBiase. So maybe this autograph, say, would be like 20 bucks. And you're meeting these two guys. And, you know, so it's, you know, let's say they're from The Walking Dead. So maybe they'll charge more than 20 bucks. So already right there, just based on this alone, just based on what this considered a bonus alone, I feel that the value is there. So I can't complain about that, even though I'm not too familiar uh, with these other guys. Um, but I, so I, once again, can't, cannot complain about the value. Um, so that is, oh wait, there's more, there's more things in the bonus. Okay. How about that? So there's another thing in the bonus. It's Greg the Hammer Valentine. So like I said, the hammer would be, say, like a $20 autograph, maybe $30 or something, depending on the con you go to. Uh, the Steel City Con, which is based out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where I'm from, uh, pretty, you know, pretty reasonable prices compared to certain comic cons, but cannot complain about just the bonus that's in here. So maybe Marco is crazy. Wait, hold on, wait. Let's see. So these are um, a couple... 258 like trading cards almost like a so Ian Summerholder a um I always butcher her name Sarah Shishi and um the guy the Doctor Who guy Matt Smith that's what it is um so just like little like collector's cards like you know like so like they're available on the site which is really cool okay so then we have in here. Okay, so this is an official Autograph of the Month Club, and it's listed as a sample pack. 
Uh, for twenty dollars a month plus shipping, you'll get one signed eight by ten in the mail every month. Each photo will be autographed by a TV film celebrity. All autographs are backed by two hundred fifty eight West Authentic Signatures and TrulyAuthentic.com. Shipping is three fifty US, six fifty Canada, eight fifty worldwide. Autograph of the month club dot com. But this is listed as a sample pack. Okay. What is in a sample pack? Let's see what it is. Um so because I'm unfamiliar, maybe someone who actually does get an autograph of the month club, maybe they get something different because they are a regular frequenter of autograph of the month club. I'm not sure how that works. But anywho, let's dig in. Okay, I'm gonna butcher these here. Ooh, okay. Okay. Just want to say thank you for getting our Autograph of the Month Club sample pack. We hope you get a kick out of it and share your experience with friends and family. Uh, now let me get into this autograph from June of 2016. Patrick Gallagher is known for his television roles as Detective Joe Finn in Da Vinci's Inquest, The Alcohol Salesman in Entourage. Wow, he's in a lot of stuff. Um, Glee, Master and Commander, Gary the Bartender in Sideways, Cole Quit in Final Destination 3, uh, he also plays Head of Security in short-lived series Endgame. Okay. Interesting. So this is from... The letter is on the top of it. But this is from... Um, oh, Night at the Museum. He was Attila the Hun. That's really cool. Um, so that's very cool there. Okay. Ah, that's awesome. Okay, and like, so, you know, it's once again one of those things. Like, you know, at a con, because he's been in a bunch of different roles and a bunch of different movies, you know, maybe he charges a $30, $40 autograph. And when you paid $20, $30, $40 for the entire envelope, I feel that you've won out. Uh, 258 West Signature, Kevin McHale. This card was hand signed in front of. Marco, a 258. It's 134 out of 350. Kevin McHale. Help me. Who is this person? Kevin McHale. I'm blanking on who that actually is. Doesn't say what roles or anything that they're in. Um, but cool hand sign card there. Oh, another card. We got a Eric Milligan. That is 79 out of 240. Um, so, Eric Milling, I don't know either of these people. Um, and I'm sure they're probably in some role or some movie or something that I'm just blanking on at the moment, which is very likely. Um, so then this is the, just a blank envelope here. Um, but... Already, you know, I'm pretty impressed with the value just on the lowest tier box of $40 just because there's there's quite a lot of uh, autographs in here so far. And like I said, if you're charging based on just Comic-Con prices, um, that's a pretty solid value there. Um, so this one is in like a harder um, thing and I'm butchering it because the, the envelopes are really good. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. That is... It's a very cool Batman print. Um, my son will be thrilled. Signed by someone, I would assume, who played Batman at some point. Um, but it does it say who it is? Uh, Batman the Dark Knight Returns. Not a Kevin Conroy, I don't think. It doesn't say in there. And definitely it's a D something. Um, that's really cool, though. I don't know who played Batman in The Dark Knight Returns, but I would assume that would be a voice actor of some kind. Um, but my son loves Batman stuff and, you know, would be thrilled to add this to his very Batman wall um, that he has. Um, but that's, uh, that is it. And uh, I think that's it. Let's make sure. Did Marco pack any more things in here? No, he did not. But a couple signed cards... Um, this really cool Batman signed one. I wish I knew who it was. I'm blanking. I may have to pull up the website and see what I can find out. 
We've got Attila the Hun here, guy from um, Night at the Museum. That's really cool. Uh, some bonus things here. Greg the Hammer Valentine. Million Dollar Man. You got uh, Lou Temple here. I wish I would remember with some of these guys. You know, they're in kind of different things. But were these people that were in Negan's group? Maybe? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that, um, that'll wrap it up. For the Marco is Crazy Mystery Box Bunker exclusive, and I think he is crazy. I'm actually very curious to see um, what some of the people who got kind of the, the higher tier boxes, the um, larger boxes, got in them, because there is quite a lot of autographs in this box, so I cannot complain about that. Um, but guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you are new here, or if you're a returning customer, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description below. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, um, a Tom Was Here t-shirt, you can do so. Spreadshirt Shop, link in the description was links to my eBay store. I have actually been putting stuff on the eBay store. Um, Facebook page... Instagram and Clubhouse. Uh, also, thank you to John Bailey. John Bailey, my first Patreon subscriber uh, or patron, I guess you could say. Um, I actually sent out his second box. Um, basically, if you're on the $10 tier, I send out a mystery item, even though I've been sending him uh, on this one. There are three different items in this box. On the last one was one item in the first box thing, so make sure to um, support me on Patreon so you can get a box yourself. Sometimes it comes out of uh, items that I pull here, although it won't be this one because my son's going to take it. Um, but sometimes it comes out of just other items I've collected kind of over the years, different collector's items and things. And, and it helps when I know what people like and kind of skew it their way but i will take some chances sometime but support me on patreon and get a mystery box for yourself or a mystery item for yourself that'll wrap it up for the marco is crazy 258 west signatures autograph of the month club mystery box bunker exclusive box as well as zobie daily special final destination poster guys thank you so much for watching and until the next video i will see you soon. But until then, bye everyone.